Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You may not recognize me. I dyed my hair and I cut it really short. What do you guys think? I'm in love with it. I love it so much. Um, I was originally going in to get my uh, roots uh, touched up, but when I got into the salon, my stylist had dyed her hair. And she dyed it a pretty similar color. Um, mine's a little bit darker. And I asked her, I'm like, oh my God, Devin, will you please dye my hair like that? And she's like, Jess, I've been waiting for you to let me dye your hair for three years. Because I've been blonde for three or four years now. And so uh, we decided to dye my hair a little bit deeper than hers because my, my skin tone's a little bit paler than hers. Um, and this is pretty close to my natural color too. And then she put in some foils um, sporadically to let some blonde to have some blonde highlights so it looks like I have tiger stripes going on but I love it it's a little bit fluffy today I tried um, I tried to straighten it and um, this side just has a mind of its own it just fluffs up so much so it always looks really good when my stylist straightens it but when I straighten it it's still fluffy I don't know what to do about it um, so anyway yeah new hair exciting I love it um, I'm rocking some bright lips because I'm actually sick right now and I find when I put on bright lipstick I feel a lot better and I just I overcompensate when I'm sick I do dramatic makeup to make it seem like I'm healthy and so I might sound a little bit congested um, I'm student teaching right now as you may or may not know and there is something called the first year teacher curse and basically that is when you are a first year teacher or a student teacher, you get sick a lot. You get sick almost every weekend because the kiddos just bring their germs in and everybody shares the germs and it's a petri dish and you get sick a lot. So I'm battling a little bit of a cold and it kind of sucks. So I'm sorry if I sound nasally. I apologize. I just really wanted to film today. Um, because I am student teaching, I don't have a lot of time to film, so I'm going to be filming a lot of videos today to upload over the next few weeks. And so yeah, I'm going to stop rambling because this is the longest intro ever. And I'm going to share with you what is inside my Sephora play box because it came in the mail earlier this week. I was waiting so impatiently for the previews of the products this month to come out. We got some bomb ass products you guys. Up top we got the usual little pamphlet with the insert with the um, little card to get free uh, a free demo and 50 points in store and then you've got all of the products on the back here. So I don't really care what's in here. I care what's in this bag. And on the bag this month we've got a little lipstick and the quote says this is not just a lipstick and I feel like <laughs> I've said that line before oh I'm sorry if you hear my cat playing in the background she's scratching at her tree at her scratching post um I feel like I've said that before like if somebody tells me it's just lipstick I'm like it's not just lipstick okay so let's dig in the first thing I'm pulling out is a oh I dropped it the first thing I'm pulling out is a rather large product, actually. This is a whole fluid ounce, pretty big, um, as big as my hand here. This is the Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. And it is supposed to, oh, it's really hard to read white writing on a holographic uh, background. Whose idea was that? So it's instant burst of hydration for dry skin brightens dull lackluster skin for long-lasting moisturization perfect for me because I have dry dry desert dry skin so I'm so excited to use this um, do you use this in place of your moisturizer it applies sparingly and spread evenly onto face after regular serum so I'm guessing this goes on after your moisturizer I think I'm gonna have to do some research on how to use it but this is a good size sample Wow great job Sephora awesome next is another large sample wow this is yeah pretty good this is the living proof perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfector i've never tried anything from living proof i've been really curious about their brand they said that this is a so this is like kind of like an overnight treatment it says apply to damp or dry hair before bed from roots to ends comb through leave in or wash out in the morning fast absorbing pillow safe use as often as needed so i'm guessing this is like an overnight hair mask 
and when you wash it out or if you can leave it in it's going to leave your hair looking beautiful and silky this is interesting i've never really heard of an overnight hair mask before i will let you guys know how i even use this i'm going to try it and decide what i think i'll let you know i'm going to get the perfume out of the way before we get to the makeup of the box this is tori birch i've never tried anything from tori birch i've been very curious about their perfumes. This is the Jolie Fleur Verte. Um, it is a tomboy and easy going mix. So here's what the full size bottle looks like. I like that it's got a little spray nozzle on it. Ooh. Oh. You know what? I don't hate it. Oh, that smells really good actually. Ooh, I kind of like it, you guys. I've never... Hold the phone. Like, stop the presses, guys. Sephora Play sent me a perfume I don't hate. I actually kind of like this. I would buy this in the full size. How much does it cost? A hundred bucks? Yeah, I'm not going to buy it in the full size, but I'm going to enjoy the sample. Makeup time! First thing I'm pulling out is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. In here, very nice, sleek, silver packaging. I'm going to sneeze. No, it's not coming. Okay, moving on. This is the Clear Brow Gel. I've actually tried this before from Anastasia. I really liked it. I like Clear Brow Gels. I remember liking this, so I'm glad to have it in my collection again. It's nothing, I know it's nothing exciting. You can go to Maybelline and get a Clear Brow Gel, but... I like this because I remember it not being sticky, but you can't you can't see it there, but I'm excited for this. I'm really excited. And then, ooh, I'm really excited for this, you guys. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, waterproof eyeliner in Trooper. This is a very nice sharp felt tip. I love felt tip eyeliners. I always I'm excited to try one from a high-end brand because I feel like with the exception of the Stila Stay All Day eyeliner, I never want to splurge on a liquid liner because $20 to $30 for something I throw away in three months, not necessarily worth it, but I will take the time to try this one. Let's see how she does. Ooh, very black. I feel like I could get a very precise line with this. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Very exciting. Very awesome. And the last thing is a lipstick here. This is from the Sephora brand. This is the Rouge Brilliance Rouge Shine. Oh, how stinking cute. Oh, it's just a little tiny lipstick. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm dying. I'm dying. It's so little and so cute. Oh, let's see. This is a very nice rose pink. I like that color. This is usually a color I reach for a lot. Oh, but it's kind of sheer. Kind of sheer. Had to build it up quite a bit, but I do like the color. It looks very glossy and very moisturizing. Um, I don't, I'm not able to put it on my lips right now, but oh, this is nice looking color and it's so cute. Oh, I love that. So tiny. I love it. I can't get over it. That was my Sephora play box, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of the video by giving it a thumbs up and be sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye.